On the Money Watch, your children just graduated from college and they're on their own for the first time. Now it is time to spend a little bit more money, right? Maybe go on that vacation you've been dying to take. Well, not so fast. Just assuming that you're going to have more money when your kids leave the house is one of the many mistakes empty nesters make if they don't think about things enough. Certified financial planner Michelle Ogden is here to help you through it. Oi. So there's so much to think. I think there are a lot of empty nest parents who have those mixed feelings because your kids are going away and then they go, woohoo, and just start. Well, they're, they're trying the to fill a void. There's yeah. something missing and they go on these extravagant trips that were never in their financial plan. All right. So first of all, why is it wrong to assume that you're going to have more money when the kids fly the coop? The grocery bill may go down and the tuition may be gone, but once you get accustomed to spending a specific amount of money a month, you tend to stay there, if not spend more. Uh-huh. And, and it's just habitual spending? Is that what it is? Well, no. I always say that there, it's called funny, uh, therapy. What do you call it? Retail therapy. Okay. Mom's going to the store more. You know, dad may <laughs> get a Corvette therapy. instead of the, the minivan. Right. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about some of the other money mistakes empty nesters make. Apparently they do go on these spending sprees right. that we're talking about. Right. Like, and, like what kind of things besides vacations? Vacations, remodeling a room, one of the rooms in the house into a home theater. Man okay. cave. All right. So I, I, why not, though? Well, because that's not that house is too big. It's too expensive. It's um, basically they should be considering downsizing, if anything, because most people don't think about downsizing until closer to retirement. Yeah, I was going to say a lot of people do, though, when when they get to that empty nest point, mm -hmm. consider selling. But you say when you're there and the kids are leaving, that's too late. Yeah, many reasons. First of all, the kids are, you know, the, the world is their oyster, and you should be having something to look forward to, too. You're, you're over halfway to retirement. So consider downsizing now because you're going to save on the expenses, mm -hmm. um, you have something to look forward to, and the kids are less likely to move back home when you, when you relocate. <laughs> Which brings us to the next point. <laughs> One of the growing trends in mm -hmm. our country is kids that are adults get out of college or they lose their job or something, they move back in and stay and think that they don't have to pay. Right, and that is a huge issue. I'm not saying it's wrong to have your kids move back home. I did it, I did it for two years, it was wonderful. Just to have an agreement and say, this is how the terms, this is how much you're gonna contribute. That way, you know, discontent comes from unmet expectations. And if your kid comes home, doesn't get a job, just starts spending all their discretionary money while you're footing the bill, a lot of resentment comes and it could save your marriage. So what about people that say, where's the love and all that? These are family members. You are loving them by grooming them for success. I like that. Good to think about. <laughs> grooming them for success. I'm gonna remember that in a few years. Thanks, Michelle. No problem. Good stuff. Thanks.